Scott Austin, Appleby, Robert Kugler, Frankie Williams, Ron Bentley will ask Coach Hayes when they can open his statement and go to questions. Coach? Well, if we were in a close ball game there for a little bit and uh, got out of hand pretty quickly. You know, we did some things that had a lot of penalties, uh, too many crucial penalties that you can't have against uh, good football teams. And I didn't think we tackled nearly as well as we needed to tackle. Uh, we let the ball come out. You know, we're in a pretty close game coming out of the half and then a big return out down in the red zone. We had a punt block for a touchdown. I mean, you just can't do those things against good football teams and think that you're going to be successful. So we got to take a long, hard look at you know where we need to get better. And uh, we've got, like I said before, and I'll continue to say it, we've got enough talent in our locker room to, to uh, win a lot of football games this year. But we have to make sure we get better in all those tight ball game situations that we don't stress out and make those those blunders that uh, come back and haunt you. Questions? Daryl, going into this week, you talked about this maybe as a, a potential signature victory. Um, with the way that it turned out, how how close or how far are you as a program to getting one of those? You know, I, I don't think we're any farther away. I just think that we have to make sure we understand in critical football games against good people that you have to be able to execute. And the, the worst thing you can do is to make sure you hurt yourself. You know, put the ball back and forth so the ball game stays tight so you have a chance to win it in the fourth quarter. Uh, but when you start, uh, you turn it over, you have those big penalties, and you don't, you know, get guys on the ground well enough, it's, it's hard. Daryl, you say you have enough talent in the locker room to win these type of games. Yeah. What is holding you back? Well, uh, like I said, it's those stressful situations that we have to overcome those things. Um, you know, you can't let the ball out. It's, it's a 10-point game at halftime, I believe, and uh, we let the ball out 60, 70 yard return. Those are the things that kill you. Uh, it's momentum, it's, it's potential points on the scoreboard. Juwan, you guys have tackled pretty well the first couple of weeks and you didn't today. Was anything different? Uh, I mean, you're playing a better team. What, what was the difference today versus the first couple of weeks? Um, I, just, I mean, for us as a defensive unit, we just Today, that's not our defense on the field. That's not Purdue's defense that was on the field. We're just looking. We're moving on. We're just going to take that, acknowledge it for what it is. We all been out there and we missed tackles. You have to make tackles in critical situations to win football. And we didn't do it today. And that's something we definitely have to improve on. Robert, just assess the way you think the offense played against Purdue. Um, you know, I think uh, we just didn't execute what we needed to. Uh, we didn't get too many three and outs. I mean, can't leave those guys on the field for as long as we did. We just got to execute better. Frankie, as a captain, what do you what do you say to the players after this and how to, to get them going in the right direction? Well, I think you start with myself, just being a better leader and making sure I'm doing everything that I need to do, first off and foremost. But from now on, the DBs will, for example, we'll just watch our film today, and tomorrow we'll get back at it. There's no point in letting it dwell on us. Robert, this, you guys were never really able to get the run established uh, the way you had in the first two games. Can you pinpoint why that was so difficult today? I think we were playing a good team, and like I said, we just didn't execute. Um, there were times that you know we could have ran the ball well and just didn't execute up front or whatever, so it just didn't work. Austin, the, the third down numbers, only 2 of 15, but what were the issues on first down not being able to get enough yards put you, maybe put you guys in manageable third down situations? I think uh, the best way to convert third down is to convert on first and second. I mean, we caught, caught too many third and longs where they were able to pin their ears back and bring all the exotic blitzes and do all the different things that they do. It's a really good defense. And when you, you're playing behind the chains, um, it makes things difficult. You know, they're, they're a great defense. They did a lot of different things. You know, we, we, were, we were prepared. We just didn't execute. Um, you know, we're going to watch it on tape, we'll make the corrections, uh, and we'll move on. Uh, we're much better in the way that we play today, uh, from top to bottom, and uh, we're confident we'll get it fixed. Austin, what was the offensive game plan today? It's the same thing we always do. We want to start with the offensive line, get the run game going, uh, do all the misdirection stuff coming out of that, and that will set up our play-action pass game and to win on the outside. Uh, you know, we didn't execute as well as we needed to in any of those uh, realms. And, you know, when, when you get behind the sticks, 
and it doesn't matter who you are. When it's third and ten, it's it's tough, uh, especially against a defense like that. Daryl, just a couple weeks in a row, there's probably been a net negative on special teams. Can you pinpoint anything, attention to detail there? What what's going wrong on your special teams? Well, we you know the uh, punt block for the touchdown was a, a low snap to the right that pulled the punter. And then we had a guy come up and under our, our shield. And that's a physical thing. It's not a it's not a, a mental thing. It's not an assignment thing. That's a physical. Those are two physical things that got the bunt block. I don't know what happened on the kickoff. I have to look at the film to see exactly what happened on the kickoff. Um, and then uh, obviously you got to fix you got to fix that. Is Daryl any update on Marcus Bailey or Jimmy Herman? I'm not spoken to. Them. The change just yet. I'm not sure how those guys are. Anything else? One more? I know you haven't looked at the film yet, but did you feel like you got good snaps out of Jalen Robinson when he came out of the first one and made a play? To be completely honest, I don't know that. Yeah, there was a point there going early in the fourth quarter. I think Austin had more carries than either your two running backs combined. Just talking about what. Was that just a lack of getting the running backs going? Was that something that you saw in the game plan that you wanted to use that kind of distribution? Well, I thought they did a good job in terms of making him <clears throat> pull the ball to take it out of the running back's hands and all of our zone read things. And, uh, you know, we're getting two yards or three yards. We weren't getting five yards or six yards. And that's uh, the safety did a good job of tackling. Uh, and that's one of the things that we'll have to look at. If they're going to force us to pull the ball in zone three, we got to figure out some different things that maybe we can uh, establish them, uh, a little bit more run. One last one. Mr. Robert, why, why is this going to be different than the last couple of years? This season? Yeah. You know, I just think that uh, the leadership that we have on the team and just the guys that we have in the locker room, they're not going to let this, you know, they're not going to let this ruin our season. You know, we're just, you know, we're going to learn from it and we're going to go, but I think the guys that we have in this locker room and you know how together we are as a team, I think that's going to be the difference in this season. Thanks, everybody.